What's up guys, welcome to your 18th Java tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be going over something called nested if statements and also else if statements. So I gave you guys a quick um, heads up on uh, what an if and else statement was in a couple tutorials ago. But I'm going to give you a refresher real quick in case you forgot. And then I'm going to be getting into some more stuff that we're going to be needing later. So go ahead and make an integer. Uh, you can have it whatever you want. I'm going to name mine age. And set it equal to something like, actually set it equal to 60. Next let me uh, remind you guys what if statement does. What if statement does is it tests a condition. And if that condition is true, so age is less than 50, it does a certain thing. So let's say if age was less than 50, which is not, we want you to print out on the screen. Let's make sure I got this typed right before I go any farther. Um, if it age is less than 50, then you're pretty young. So you are young. So it allows you to make a decision if a condition is true. And we also went over the else. And what this does is it gives it alternative unless that condition is false. So let's copy that because we're lazy and let's put you are old. And let's so go ahead and see what this does right here. It outputs on the screen you are old. So what this did real quick, I'm not going to get it in detail because I told you later. It looked at this variable called age and tested if it was less than 50. If it was, it was going to print this, you are young. But it wasn't, so it printed this. And again, this is how you can um, give Java a way of making many choices or ex or just one choice in this condition but what I wanted to talk to you guys about in this story is not the simple if else statement it's something called a nested if else statement or a nested if statement and what it is is this instead of just having one action if it's true or one action if it's false say if it was false you wanted it to perform another decision well actually what you can do is take this entire if else statement and plug it in one of these things right here so say the age is 60 right here if the age is less than 50 then it's going to do this well the age wasn't less than 50 so it's going to do whatever is in the else statement so let's go ahead and make another decision in it alright we already know that the age is greater than 50 so let's go ahead alright if in that case age is greater than 75 well what do we want to do we'll just print out you are really old so if age is greater than 75 we want to print out you are really old else in that case age must be greater than 50 but less than 75 uh, what are we going to print out We'll print out something nice for him. Don't worry, you aren't really that old. With a bunch of typos, because that's what they wanted. So let's go ahead and run this. And when we do, it says, you are old, don't worry, you aren't really that old. And let me show you guys what happened right here. This entire thing is your main if else. This is what's gonna happen if it's less than 50 and this is what's going to happen if it's greater than 50 now if it's greater than 50 what it is, which it is the first thing it's going to do is print out the statement you are old and then it's going to say all right what else do i do if it's greater than 50 oh i got a whole nother decision i got to make so aside from this entire decision i got to make another decision is my age greater than 75 no it's 60 well then I'll go to this one don't worry you aren't really that old so again that's how you can embed an entire if else statement inside another if else statement and you could have just as easily put this in the first one but I decided to put this in else because that's where um, our decision led so that's your quick tutorial on how to make if or excuse me what this is called is actually nesting when you have one if else statement inside another one it's called nesting if statements or nesting if else statements. So that's your quick tutorial on how to do that. In the next tour, I'm going to show you guys how to use something called else if. So um, make sure to subscribe. I'm looking forward to it, and I'll see you then.